Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe, and welcome to part two, the restoration video. We are now on a completely separate Steam Deck, and as per the instructions of the Import Export tool, we need to actually uh, install Emu Deck. Now we're going to do a very brief version of this, but essentially you'll download emudeck.desktop, the installation script, you're gonna copy it to your desktop because that's the only place it'll run, right? And then you're going to do the, uh, the standard install. Now, I warn you with peace and love, peace and love, that if you want what you had before, you'll probably need to install it the same way you did before. That includes all of the emulators, configurations, everything. So this came up and I have a separate screen over here. Sorry, I'll have to drag that over here. Uh, so we're gonna do it exactly the way that I installed it before. Hopefully you have a good idea what you did. In this case, we are going to uh, restore it exactly where we had it, which was on the SD card. We're going to put exactly the same emulators in, and we are going to keep the uh, same features that we used. Uh, I did not log into Retro Achievements at this point. Uh, I just skipped on that because we want to move through this pretty quick. But essentially, choose the same things. Now, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these settings will be overwritten once we put everything back. But, you know, it never hurts to plan ahead. Okay, so we've set everything up. Now we need to move this thing along. So we're going to power through the install like super fast. Uh, obviously, this is like... 50 speed or something. It's never this fast, right? And in just a moment, it'll be all done. Great. Now, now that it's done installing, we probably want to go ahead and we're not going to copy any games over. Obviously, the whole point of this is just to get it up and reinstalled so that we can put all of our old stuff back. So I'm going to close out of Emu Deck, and it's probably a good idea to go ahead and reopen it. Now, I doubt there'll be any updates, but you just don't know for sure. So let's go ahead and uh, run Emu Deck again and make sure that it comes up and it doesn't complain about anything. After all, we don't want to sabotage ourselves before we even get started. So Emu Deck looks fine. I think we're all good to go here. I think... Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and make sure that one terabyte external with our backup is actually mounted and ready to go. And it is now. And we're going to go ahead and download that import tool. Same place we got the export tool. Import tool here. And uh, instead of saving it to downloads this time, how about we just save it to the actual desktop? That'd be great, right? So save it to the desktop. Make sure it's got the .desktop extension and we'll hit save and uh, we are good to go. All right, so I think we're ready to run the import tool. And there she is, import my saved games. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Now it says at the top to select your backup folder. This is totally confusing up there. What you wanna do is select the folder that has the MU deck folder in it. Now remember in our case, we have it on the one terabyte external and I put it inside of a folder called MU deck backup. So that's where you're gonna wanna retrieve it from. This top text up here is very, very confusing. I've asked them to fix it or something. So we're gonna go back to our one terabyte. Inside of MU deck backup, see where that MU deck folder is? That's where you wanna select okay. And look at this, she works like a champ. Okay, hey, it found my storage folder. You wanna restore that? Yeah, bring it in. I want that, I want everything that I backed up to come back. Here comes my BIOS folder. And all my BIOS stuff will move back over. Obviously, we're doing an accelerated pace here. And of course, once our BIOS files are done, what we want is our ROM files, right? We're going to move all those 53 ungodly gigabytes back. A lot of BIOS files to go through here, huh? So the only thing that you have to really uh, worry about here after doing this restore, of course, is your metadata, which we're going to do in just a moment. Uh, there's our ROMs folder. Uh, this won't take as long as uh, that other one I don't think took, so we'll go ahead and import that as well. What you really um, are are getting from this tool, so a lot of people are like, well, hey, uh, can I just can I just take my SD card out of my old deck and put it in my new deck and call it a day? Uh, no, you can't. Um, well, you can, but you're gonna be missing some stuff because some of your save files are actually sim linked to the SD card from internal storage. So you need to use this tool at least to back up and restore your save files. 
All right. Well, this is um, this looks great. Let's uh, go ahead and run Steam ROM Manager now and get Emulation Station injected into Steam. Take just a moment here for it to come up. And here she is on the other screen. We're going to toggle all the parsers off and only turn on Emulation Station DE. Hit parse, select that Emulation Station and hit save to Steam. That's it. We're done with uh, Steam ROM Manager. If you want to do other stuff with Steam ROM Manager, you're on your own. All right, so let's go ahead and restore our downloaded media, which is all of our metadata. Go to your emulation tools folder and drag that emulation uh, metadata, the downloaded media folder right into that tools folder. That's gonna restore all your scraped screenshots and videos and all the stuff that you probably spent days and days acquiring. All right, I think we are ready to give this the old college try. Now, if everything is set up, all of our emulators should work as we expect it to. All of our BIOS files should be where they're supposed to be. All of our ROMs should be where they're supposed to be. Everything should just work. Running it right out of Steam and running that emulation station. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our library, find emulation station DE. Excellent, and we are gonna play it. Let's check it out. Now, what we're looking for, of course, is all of our ROMs being where they're at and all of our media being where it's supposed to be. Okay, hey, look at that. Uh, all of our uh, games appear to be here, perfect. And hey, there's all of our media. All right, great, great. This is uh, fantastic. So um, obviously we need to test some sort of heavy lifting emulation, right? That would be Xbox or Switch maybe PS3. In this case, Switch is probably the most complicated emulation with uh, keys and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and make sure that uh, one of my favorite games, my favorite uh, Switch originals, if you will, uh, exclusives is going to run. Here we go. Cruise and Blast, we're launching it. All right, she runs, excellent. Test passed, I think we're all done. Listen, if you like what you saw here, like, subscribe, hit the bell, we just hit 10,000. Uh, subscribers and you guys are the best for making that happen. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care, everybody.